On this episode of Hawk to Hawk, we are talking with former Hawkeye and Super Bowl champion Marshall Yonda. Yonda spent only two seasons at the University of Iowa after spending some time in junior college. At Iowa, he developed rapidly and benefited greatly from the guidance of former NFL line coach Kirk Ferentz and then Iowa offensive line coach Reese Morgan. Yeah, and Coach Ferentz being a very well-respected ex-NFL offensive line coach, what exactly did he teach you specifically in terms of technical or maybe it was conceptually how to be a great offensive lineman? Is he really hands-on in practice? Uh, describe uh, that process. I mean, the biggest thing, I mean, attention to detail. I mean, obviously, throughout practice, just uh, fine-tuning your fundamentals and how the game of football is built on fundamentals of, of blocking. It's not just going out there and hitting a guy and getting in his way. It's, uh, it's taking the right steps, taking the right footwork, hand placement, um, you know, punching guys and just, uh, and just doing it at a high level and doing it every day in practice, just trying to, trying to fine tune and hone your technique and your craft. And, uh, you know, he really instilled that in me and I really, you know, took, you know, took that and, and ran with it because I was a real raw player. Even at Nyack, I was just kind of like a mauler. I just was physical, but I really didn't know how to be technically sound. And obviously that was when my game converted and that's when I really started developing into a, a really, you know, a, go, uh, a good player and, you know, becoming into a great player was when he started, you know, teaching me fundamentals and techniques. I really had none. I mean, I was more of a, like I said, a, a raw player. So, you know, just um, you know, the, the drills of doing them day after day, you know, week after week. I mean, we did tight and wide reach on uh, zone blocking. I mean, I've done those drills a thousand times, you know, hours and hours of that stuff just that gets instilled in you after a long process. Obviously, it seems like, you know, it's a little bit of overkill doing that, but that's what you got to do. So you can, I can, you know, I can do those in my sleep now, but you need to be able to do that um, as an offensive lineman. You need to be able to do things without thinking. And your, your footwork needs to be in the right place without thinking. So, you know, just that stuff has, uh, you know, that he taught me has been, uh, been great. You, you build up, you've dreamt of being a Hawkeye your entire life. You're living in Anamosa. You're only 45, 50 miles from Iowa City. And finally, you've, you've made it through the two years of junior college. You're running out of that tunnel for the first time in the swarm as a Hawkeye, being yep. an, Iowa, an Iowa boy. Uh, did you get any goosebumps coming out? Oh, yeah. I mean, I tell, uh, you know, I spoke to the, the Hawks uh, the other day at spring practice, and I told them, you know, my first uh, memory is uh, of running out. We were playing ball state, and it was our, our season opener at home. That was my first time of being on a big stage, like of, of football. You know, obviously, I was at Anamosa. You know, pretty pretty low key. Junior college, we played at high school stadiums, very low key. Like it's you know, a big crowd, though. You know, yeah, about fifty or hundred people. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe on big big stage. So uh, so running out of seventy thousand uh, people or seventy thousand people in Kinnick was uh, was just awesome. I mean, I uh, you know I was felt like I was just you know running out there, just walking on air. I was just so happy. I mean, I was just uh, just you know can never you know take for granted that feeling that I had you know that first time and I tell you know I told the guys at Iowa too I mean I ran out for the Super Bowl and that was a great awesome feeling but like you know run out of Kinnick Stadium for the first time of, of, the, of a grand stage of, of football for the, the fans and, and and being in Iowa and being you know from home that was uh, that was probably my most memorable experience so uh, it was a great day. Webster's Dictionary defines toughness as strong and durable not easily broken. Marshall Yonda, like any great offensive lineman, has been described by teammates and coaches as the toughest football player they have ever met. In the game of football, there isn't a greater compliment. Coming up on Hawk to Hawk, he talks about toughness and the mentality offensive linemen carry onto the gridiron. 